2017 Victory Highball. Last year they made them. We're gonna replace the battery today. Pretty simple. Kind of a pain in the ass since I got this Mustang seat because it goes down so far. But take the cover off here. Like so. Put it away. I have one of my buddies actually wrap it with the state flag. Good old Texas flag. Anywho, I'm already taking the battery out. It's not that hard to do. If you find it. So there's two little bolts on each side. Take the, take the nuts off. Once you've done that, this plate comes out. Now getting the battery out was kind of hard. You did have to really lift up on it to get it out. Put these back in here. There. So the battery doesn't cling around too much. All right. All right, so I've already disconnected the cables. You know, red goes on the right, positive, black goes on the left of these batteries. You don't want to move them out of the way. Kind of hard to do this one-handed, but nevertheless, whatever. Let's see if we can get someone to hold the phone while I do this. Let's see. It'd be a lot easier if I brought my tripod. Kind of works. So, let's get your battery removed. For the new one, this could be easy. It should be. But, I have a hell of a time finding a battery with the same dimensions. So, what I got is a Duracell from Batteries Plus. It's an AGM battery, two year warranty, like 140 bucks. But matched up to my battery pretty damn well. And with the same cold cranking amp, so that worked out pretty awesome. What I like about this battery is that they're already threaded. You know those little things that go inside to screw with? And it should. Oh, it does. After two go arounds, it does fit. So first, I got a battery that didn't quite match up, which sucked. So I had to return it. And now I have one that does. So, what I'll do is put it all back together. I still got the battery in here. It comes with all the little things. So we're gonna get our red terminal and my trickle charger. It's kinda hard to get up underneath here and get this in, but nevertheless, we're going to. back here so we can get it started and the battery it quite works out the way you want it but I do believe I got it in there also the 10 millimeter that goes on there. Too tight in it. So, a little ratcheting. 10 millimeter here. 
makes it a lot easier to deal with. Get it very tight. Put the cover back on it. Alright, now the negative shouldn't be as hard. You can actually see the side of it. I can't find a therapeutic to work on my motorcycle. Well, really, anything. So, if this comes pre charged, ready to rock and roll, shouldn't have any problems with it. Yeah, batteries plus and bulbs or whatever it's called. Dude, that kid in there was smart. My mistake last time was just eyeballing the uh, battery and I was off. But nevertheless, so you got that in. Negative hookups, positive hookups. This puts, goes back on. You don't want to ever alter this because this is where your plate goes on. Your side cover goes on, I should say. Right here, in this little grommet. Here. So if that doesn't go on, then you're kind of fucking screwed. The these will do things you gotta line up. This is the one that'd be not touching if you altered this to get in your battery if it didn't fit i thought about doing that but it wouldn't fit that suck and it would look dumb of course never fails it's funny because my phone that i'm recording this with is sitting on the box where my socket set which make this 10 times faster, but why not do it the hard way? You wanna get that fairly fucking snug. Let's take your cover here. Pops back on. Air ignition. Let's see if it'll start. 
<sighs> We're in neutral. He starts. And that's how you change the battery. <laughs> 